What's going on guys, my name is Initial Daz and in this video I'm going to be talking about why Toyota needs to make a return to arcade racing games. Now before I do get into the nitty gritty on this video, if you guys can check your notification settings and see that you are getting notified for when my videos come out, it would gladly be appreciated as you would be able to find out when my videos are going to be out. Thank you for that guys and now we're going to crack on with the video. This video was inspired by Black Panther's video about the new Supra being in Fast and Furious Crossroads and how it's unplayable in that game. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. Outside of mobile titles, Project Cars 3, Fast and Furious Crossroads, Forza Horizon 4 and GT Sports, there aren't other modern racers that allow players to customise Toyota cars in it. To access both Subras in Fast and Furious Crossroads, they can only be bought via DLC pack. The problem is, why are the cars in the game if you can only drive them in the multiplayer mode that barely anybody plays? In my opinion, Toyota needs to return to Need for Speed and be introduced into the crew too. What annoys me with this whole Toyota and Need for Speed situation is that they cannot state that Need for Speed promotes illegal street racing when their cars are clearly in games such as Initial D, One Gone Midnight and most recently the new Fast and Furious game which has players racing against a Subra in the street racing section. At this point in time, after Crossroads has flopped badly, Toyota needs NSF at this point to help them, regardless of the conflict between them. Also, for those people that didn't know, Toyota was one of the first four Japanese car brands that have been in the series from the very first game, and it's sad that players haven't been able to see the cars return since Need for Speed 2015 due to how they are acting. In terms of Toyota not featuring their cars in the Crew 2, it doesn't make sense considering the fact that the Crew 2's focus isn't on illegal street racing, but on sanctioned racing. Toyota is the own worst enemy by doing this. They are limiting themselves which is bad for them in the long run. You have players that want to drive the new Supra and the GR Yaris but they can't because you limited what games your cars are going to be in. The more games your cars are in, the more money you're going to make from the game companies that want to license your cars. As well as that, you're also going to get people that want to drive your cars in real life and therefore you're going to be making more money by getting people buying these cars in real life. This situation is similar to the Honda situation where their cars weren't appearing in a lot of games and they had a similar policy. I am hoping that Toyota do wake up and see that the mistakes they are making by choosing to go down this route in the long run. At this point in time, they need to accept the fact that their cars are going to be popular in the car culture scene due to the Fast and Furious and Initial D popularizing their cars on an international scale. Just to end this video, I forgot to mention this earlier, but Toyota, please bring Lexus back into these games as well. So this is just my overall thoughts on the Toyota situation guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Remember to like, share and subscribe, thank you guys very much for watching, you guys take care, stay safe, have a good day.